So today, August 16th, Pokemon revealed a lot of information for Sword and Shield, some of which wasn't in the trailer, so I'm going to be going over that first. The first thing that wasn't in the trailer was rank battles. They actually have a rank system, unlike Ultimate. I love you, Ultimate. I'm sorry, but you don't have an actual rank system. You earn points and will rank up to a new tier once you get enough points. I can't wait to become an actual top tier battler. There are five tiers. The beginner tier, which is rank 1 through 3. The Book of Tale, which is rank 4 through 6, the Great Ball Tale, which is 7 through 9, the Ultra Ball Tale, which is 10, and the Master Ball Tale, which is max or level 11. These rankings go up to 11. There are seasons, and your rank will decrease when moving to a new season. There are also casual battles, which you can play without worrying about wins and losers. You can use certain legendary and mythical Pokemon that are banned from rank here, and you can also choose from singles and doubles. There are also official competitions with different rules and restrictions. If you don't want to take part into the official competitions, you can also host a friendly competition or join one. You can set your own rules, duration, time limit, who can enter, and how many battles there are. You can also receive items by meeting certain criteria, such as battling multiple times in a row. You can also use Pokemon Home on your smartphone to see how people are placed in the ranking of Pokemon use. You can also use rental teams by inputting IDs. You can make your own battle teams and share the ID too. You can only rent up to 5 teams at once and they are usable in ranked battles. There was also new Dynamax effects revealed, some in the trailer, some not in the trailer. Dynamax Pokemon cannot be flinched. No held item is required for Dynamaxing. More Mats Move second effects was revealed. The Fighting type Mats Move raises your team's attack stat. The Ice Mats move sits up hail. The Flying Mats move potentially acts as Defog. They didn't go much into this on the site or in the trailer, but I think it acts like Defog. All status moves become Mats Guard, which is Protect for Mats moves. Talking about Protect, like Z moves, Mats moves break through Protect but deal some damage. When doing raid battles, you can encounter and catch a Pokemon with a hidden ability. Also, when doing raid battles, you can encounter Pokemon that can Giganta Mats. New Pokemon abilities was revealed, like Glalan Reasing has a new ability called Neutralizing Gas. All other abilities get neutralized, which means it's a field-wide mod breaker. For example, if a T-Tar was on the field and EQ'd, a Rotom on the other side would be hit if Glalan Reasing is also on the field. Covid Knight has a new ability called Mirror Armor, which reflects any stat-lowering attacks or abilities. There's also a few new items revealed, such as Room Service. Lowers the holder speed if Trick Room is activated. It's pretty much a Trick Room Electric Seed. There's also a Jack Pack. Holder will be forced out if a stat is lowered. I have no comparison, but I think it's pretty obvious what it does. And there was also one new move revealed, Breaking Swipe. It hits all the Pokemon on the opposing side and lowers the attack of the Pokemon it hits. So that's all for this news recap. If you enjoyed this re news recap, you can press the like button, but if you disliked it, you can press the dislike button. Subscribe if you want to be notified when I do news recaps. I love doing news recaps, so I'm not going to be stopping anytime soon. But thank you for watching. Goodbye.